So I recently had a call with a client of mine and he asked me to help him understand the difference between uh, things you don't want to do but you um, think you should do, you know, sh I should do this, I should do that, and things that you do want to do and you just uh, want to do them, uh, and, you know, sometimes you don't want to do them, but you do them anyway. So, uh, sorry if I confuse you right now, but maybe you're going to understand much more in a moment. So, one of my most uh, precious and, and personal topics is the whole idea of being yourself. I've made many, many videos about this. I even have a, a playlist about this called Be Fully Yourself or Be Yourself Fully. And it's a topic that I've been struggling with my whole life, feeling weird, feeling feeling like I'm the outcast. You know, it could be socially, business-wise, um, even towards myself. Like, I always felt like I didn't fit in, something was wrong, wrong with me, I needed to change something about myself. Or, the truth was, I was the only guy that was, like, normal. So, you know, people would be, like, wasting time, like, not doing anything, kind of, like... You know sitting not doing anything and I would be with them and I would be like shouldn't we do something productive <laughs> and everybody would look at me like I'm fucking crazy or um, you know on the personal level um, as I've said you know I've, I've been really judgmental of myself spent literally years of my life in judgment like oh you should do this you should have done that you should have done that you should have done that you should do this this should happen and just being judgmental over myself because I couldn't, you know, step up to really, un in, you know, impossible to achieve goals, uh, force myself to do things I didn't want to do. So it, it was just, it was just real, really bad. It was just really bad in general. And even the whole subject of money, I've spent so many years just chasing after money when I didn't even. You know, it's not that I don't care about money. It's that it's not what motivates me. What motivates me is, again, it's attention. It's helping people. It's living my dreams. That's what motivates me. And I just chased money. <laughs> uh, so, so it's a really, really deep topic for me. And, again, the, the client was like, okay, how do I, you know, tell the difference? Like, where do I, where, where do I cross the line? Because he knows that our goal together working together is um, creating, like I said, the three keys, the three principles, uh, creating a life that you do what you love, where you grow, and get rewarded for it. And I explained to him that the, his problem was with articles. Like, he really, really, really hated doing articles. And he knows that articles are, you know, something you can do to grow. So, he literally got to a point where he had to ask his mom to call him and remind him to do the fucking articles. And, like, force him to do it. So, I explained to him, you know, it, you shouldn't do the articles. <laughs> because... Imagine, like, what if this works? What if the articles actually work and you get twice as much results because of them? And people are like, we want more articles. Like, now instead of doing one article every day, you'll have to do two. I mean, you'll be miserable. Even if you get successful, you'll be miserable. Because, again, it violates the first criteria. It has to be something you love. Not just something that rewards you and grows. So... I asked him about uh, making videos because he likes making videos. And I said, would you do it for free? And he said, yeah. So that's one way to know is would you do it for free? Like, would you do it if there was no reward from doing it? You know, just for the sake of doing it. The second thing is I asked him, do you think it's a net gain or a net loss? To be more precise, he asked me, how much do I lose if I don't do the articles? So I explained to him, you actually gain. Because if you hate doing the articles and you spend all your time like, you know, thinking about it and using up your willpower and just not, not being happy, 
you know, it takes away from your motiv- your motivation, your willpower. It takes your time, and it's so it's a net loss. So imagine if you just take this one activity away, you actually have a lot more free time. You'll feel better. You have more discipline to apply in other areas. So if you have, if you feel like you have to do it, if it's something you don't love, you'll actually gain more by removing it. Now, thirdly, I asked him, and that's my best indicator personally, I asked him, I asked him do you find yourself leaning towards the activity or leaning away from the activity? Like, imagine uh, you go towards something, you can lean forward, like, yeah, I can't wait to get to it, or you're looking, you can lean back, like, uh, I don't know, okay, I want to, uh, looking forward uh. <laughs> so when you lean towards something it's like let's say about let's say it's a video a day and that's what it is for him uh, something he really likes even if he's tired even if he's depressed even if he's you know for, for example the, the camera doesn't work he's not gonna be like he's gonna be you know he's gonna be like oh shit you know it doesn't work I need to make it work. I want to do the video today. Oh, fuck it. We'll just use the cam. We'll just use the phone camera. Or maybe he's depressed. He's like, fuck, I hate being depressed because I want to make the video. But the goals where you lean away, lean back, you look for an excuse not to do them. So it's like, oh, I'm, I'm sick. Yay, I don't need to do it. Or, oh, the camera's not working. Okay, so no, not today. So you actually look to relieve yourself from the burden of doing it. So that's like, for me, the best way to know if I... Uh, want to do something truly want to do it if I should incorporate it into my life it's you know am I leaning back or am I leaning forward if I'm leaning forward it means I'm looking forward to it I want to do it I'll do it even though you know even if I have excuses and if I'm leaning backwards I'll try to avoid it whatever it takes you know and and just and even when I do it, it's like oh fine I'll do it you know <laughs> so Don't violate the first principle. Never do something that you don't love to do. Uh, But again, you have to apply all three principles. So it's not enough to just do something you'll do because you might do something you love uh, to do, but you'll be broke and you won't grow. So there's no going out of it. Uh, You might do something where you for example love to do but you don't really see rewards from it but you grow well in that case (laughs) i mean if you don't mind you know that that sounds like mother Teresa, to be honest you know like you grow it gets bigger you love it but where's the reward, you know, where's the part where you get what you want to get, not just, you know, the people. Um, Finally, you have the no growth, which I told you about, which will also fuck you up because you'll get miserable because you'll do what you love, you get rewarded, but then when the growth stops, you'll feel miserable because you're just wasting your time. So again, this happened to me from experience. So again, it must be something you love or else why are you even alive, dummy? It must be something that rewards you or else, you know, I'm not that kind of person that can live in poverty (laughs) and just do charity. I need to feel good inside first. And finally, It needs to be something that can grow and and must grow or else you'll be miserable because we are built to grow, not to stay where we are. Even Bill Gates gets pissed off if his net worth doesn't grow. So, hope this video helped you. I'm sorry for this video and the last video being a bit unclear. Uh, in a pretty fuzzy mood today so I find my videos being a bit unclear lately 
but tomorrow would be better. So let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if I helped you. Let me know if you want me to coach you. Please like, comment, you know, subscribe if you haven't. Support me, love me. My book will be out soon. It's taking a bit more than I thought because apparently what I thought would be a 200 page book is now an almost 350 page book. And uh, thanks for watching, dudes and dudettes. Keep, keep, keep being awesome.